we are going to be fighting powerful enemies as usual and we have the choice between goblins trolls or undead so what do you guys want to see <clears throat> um, this is my final live stream before i'm gonna go on vacation for two weeks so we better make this match count when you're watching our bi daily uploads currently on youtube you will probably not feel too much troll and three times undead so yeah, we have to go on that here. Eric. Oh, Croptus, that's really cool. And Frostworms. So we do not have one of the really cool um, unique bones from the Undead. But ranged. And air. I'll take that. We might actually be decently powerful early on. So that's gonna be cool. Let's see if we can swarm the battlefield. If we get necromancy, we should be strong. But I might be going for early tier 2 barracks. <clears throat> Arakoa. Yeah, should be easy mid ride. He's playing with a mage replacement, I guess. Exalted Oracles. Uh, we're definitely losing against Tauron early on. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, we got off... With a really, really poor start here. Losing everywhere. It's something you often see with the Undead. But with the Croptus. We should be okay mid-game. We should be okay. Which lane is a high buff race? I don't think the Arco will do too much. But the Town definitely like to buff each other. So if we upgrade one of the Silates. We might end up feeding one of those opponents. But if we can get some beautiful parasites here, we might still be able to win against the Arcoa. <clears throat> so let's go here. Small risk. You might not even be interested in going Tito against me because of the potion shop. Town definitely winning here. So yeah, I think we made the right call there. Unless he did upgrade against me, then he deserves to die. <laughs> and we'll raise him again. <clears throat> nope, he's still tier 1 there. So, he, so his next move needs to be a tier 2 left side. So if we go mid lane, we might be able to control the uh, battle against Arakoa. But essentially, I'm not going to be surprised if the town is also tier 2 uh, against Arakoa right now. So yeah, it might be good to wait to see what we can do. Look, Tauren. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> We'll see, we'll see. Why crop is not flying? I'm feeling uh, like Sun Service is real clever. Oh, look at the Arakoa. Yeah, he just messed me up, so in middle lane. Just completely fine middle lane. The question is is the tower in tier 2 at the middle lane already? Yep, he certainly is. So if we go to two, we might end up feeding the cowboy a little bit. <clears throat> Let's upgrade here and then we'll get the race dead up and then probably tier two middle lane. Because yeah, if we want tier two right here right now, we definitely would have been feeding this cowboy way too much. Blood Elves not too strong really on Arco not too strong and not too strong. So yeah, this is heaven for the under uh, for the Tauren. <clears throat> the fluffy gang is at it again. Yeah, beating up the Tauren is shouldn't be too hard until he goes tier three against us. Uh, tier two against us. Time to get raised that up. Arco will still probably contact us. Arco will need to be fair cautious in the middle lane. But side lanes, he should be fine. But the Arako probably should have seen this coming that the town would greet for the middle lane. <laughs> so he better be prepared. He better be prepared. Hey Bobby. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. And I just heard Empress has his birthday today, at least. He said people call him a year older, so that should be his birthday, right? So yeah, that means we just had to go for the stream here. Erko happy that he's fine here, but because the middle lane will look rather disgusting for him. 
We could go for armor here, but we will just end up feeding the Arkoa more units. By the way, you're not playing with one of the strongerly races, <clears throat> dealing with an enemy attack you to the middle lane early on is very, very annoying. So we will try to protect the Arakoa a little bit, but he probably had to buy a lot of units here. Yeah, oh my god, he's still free. Oh, I could resist. Well, we do have some anti-air ability, so we we can mess him up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel like we have to protect the other Koala a little bit in the lane. Otherwise, the Tyrone will kill him and snowball a little bit too hard. If he will lose this barracks, then that would be another shame because he decided to go tier 3 at the middle lane while he easily should have had a goal to go tier 2 there. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be fine. So, at this rate, the Arco will still take ages to attack us. So, let's go one armor, then we will save up for the arrow and then we might go in tier 3 because I think we should be decently okay fighting tier 3 with the tyrant especially with the acid spitball to deal for him damage to an arrow unit and these guys might be giving some healing but we do have the damage against him if we get one armor we will hopefully be okay but look at this stinky wave <clears throat> this wave will be fighting over here so that's not too good for us we'll fire one this one off and then hopefully hopefully we can defend this without buying too much stuff. Tyron might be going for 4 free with his units. Um, that could get real scary. But Tyron must be leading a little bit. Or the Arakoa, yeah. Arakoa because the Tyron <laughs> gave him 100% gold income there. But the Arakoa probably bought a lot of units. So... I think that gold lead right there is a little bit misleading. Tyrone will definitely come to that. <clears throat> come on, we need that tier 3 middle lane. Are we gonna be okay here? Yeah, I'm not so convinced about that yet. We should be able to come stack the Arakoa with 1 1 upgrades, even if he's tier 2 1. We definitely need Necromancy up. Can take a few hits, that's fine. If we had Dikara defend this would have been a lot easier. But we need to do something about the cow before he gets way too powerful. He might be the first one with the hero mid lane. But that's honestly just fine for us if he does it because we still can kill plenty of cows. <sighs> Jesus, what a start man. Floppy furry gang. <laughs> oh, you guys are in, uh, into something. So, Vans middle lane. Good work, but <clears throat> if that guy would send Bane oh, in less than a minute after we would summon out uh, um, Savannah's, then Savannah's is doomed a little bit too hard. I'd rather be focused on my armor strength for now. <laughs> yeah, just recruit the people in there. I'm fine with that, uh, Sansar. We want to use an arrow fully there. This wave will be spawning at a rather good time for us. Contact is going to be imminent there. And I call also tier 3 mid lane. We might have to buy several necromancers here. <clears throat> we are stuck between Arakoa and Town with both tier 3, so that's 
mildly annoying for us. Yeah, let's get the extra necromancers. <clears throat> Spawning some extra units here. Might help our, us out really well. Let's get another arm upgrade. Jesus, what a battle, man. <clears throat> Darren just went tier 2 against the Blood Elf. You would expect more aggression from the Tauron early on against the Blood Elves. Because Tauron will probably struggle a little bit against the Blood Elves late game. Let's get free free. Definitely want the <coughs> Curse Stones as well. Normally you do not want to queue up your upgrades too much. But we can safely do it because even if it goes tier 3 now we should be safe. Frostworms, they can debuff, right? And heal up. Or maybe not. <clears throat> okay, it's attack type and reduce attack speed. Affecting buildings as well. I thought they could debuff. But apparently not. Either way, we want level 2 Necropolis. Get the dead animation, corruption aura. Probably lightweight and disease cloud as well. Jesus, that middle lane was scary, man, for the Arakoa. But he held on there decently well. We might actually be a little bit more power with the Tauron and the uh, Arakoa. But I feel like the Bloodless are a little bit behind. At least that's what my gut feeling are saying. Yeah. Look at the Arakoa, 1000 gold ahead. That's uh, <clears throat> a bit scary, to be honest. Since we are behind on Utah Braids, um, I'd rather not send a hero aggressive here because we might get swamped between the Tauron and the Arakoa. We definitely want to have a level 2 Necropolis before the enemies will uh, counter attack us. Yeah, that's uh, Bovan or Bane or whatever it is. Money, money, money. <clears throat> well, we're not getting as much gold as the enemies, but we are doing decently well. Bowen, indeed. Um, Arts could work, Savans could work, um, Kaltzad could work. If I have to decide, I would go for Kaltzad, but I think I'll relax in my base a little bit. Could also do something unconventional and go for level 3 Necropolis. And send Bone Daddy in here. Have a weak army, but keep Bone Daddy stuck here or just apply pressure to the Blood Elves. <clears throat> Spawning Abominations could be fun. You know what? <clears throat> I trust in Kel'Zad. I will probably regret this. I will probably regret it. Take a risk. Let's go for the shadows. I mean, it, it's a unique bonus. Or unique aura for the undead. Love that. He might lose some reinforcements to defend this way. Which would annoy us, but... <clears throat> it will probably help us out a little bit in middle lane. Arakoa always backstabbing us is not what you want to have. But we are getting plenty of experience right there. Skeleton Arches. It's a massive upgrade because they have like six different types of arrows. Oh my god, he used that Titus. I always keep forgetting the Tauron has a summon Titus spell. But he got one from middle lane. So there's only one going here, right? <coughs> to support, uh, support Bovan. Yep. Can Susan please fight with the other cover for us? So since he has three, it might be wise to save for artists at the bottom. But if the Arakoa was not as annoying here, we might be able to take down Bowman already. Oh, we did destroy that extra Tito unit. Definitely not what the town was looking for. <coughs> but I think Kelsa has been a decent choice here. Which race do we think is the weakest? I would nearly think about Lord Ram, man.
<clears throat> I love to prove to have a wrong hit. <laughs> That's gotta be scary. We might be staying tall there. Oh yes, are you guys all in for a snowballing on that? <clears throat> I think we would have struggled more without the source of honors. I think Kalzat was the hero to go for. The Blood Elves will need to be careful. He definitely needs to go to two. Um, if I may be honest, I think his chosen ones are dispelled. <clears throat> That's gonna be a bit annoying, but tier 3 and we should be good. If he goes for a hero with tier 2, then we can play aggressive and get a level up Kelt on his face. Let's reduce army further. I uh, those Kelt's archers also have an ability to reduce enemy armor. <coughs> Down went for a hero. Cannot imagine him sending hero aggressive here. No idea middle lane. He sent Karen there. Well, he's just level 2, but he should be able to use it to spawn. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he already used it. Oh, no, he can use it. He's fine. It's not the worst. I think it should be bring out Savannah's against Karen. I mean, that could work. But let's get the armor up first. <coughs> Said that Kelpzot will die. Maybe Artis is the better option. Spawning zombies. We need this army to get a little bit smaller in size. Yeah, let's get the X Necromancers and Zavannas. <laughs> he always is. Thank you for that. Maybe some crypts as well. 25 per piece is not too expensive. Web could work. Level web. At least we have extra damage. <clears throat> Still level 2. That's ballsy. He will heal up, of course. And that's not gonna be too much fun for us. Oh my god. Totally catapults. I guess he's playing with tier 3 and tier 4. Replacements. And he lost it at the third. <laughs> he went in for mid lane. <laughs> for Taran. And even with Tiffo, he was already losing it there. <coughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Town scum. Well, he's not gonna make it. Thing is, we do not want to deal with the Blood Elves late game. They're gonna be absolutely horrifying for us. Let's kindly level up Artis a little bit over there. Let's upgrade our defenses so that we are capable for the late game fight with all of our enemies. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, he's still free on that lane. Seems like Blood is also gonna get the achievements all destroyed. That's sad for us. Yeah, Bloodos will definitely take the kill because we are killing his army. He might even take down the 
barracks. Oh my god. <clears throat> we deserve this because of that little, little coward leaving. The blood also got most of the gold. He destroyed two more buildings than we did. He would have been in th as a further behind there. <laughs> That's shame. Might be trouble here, but at least we have good anti-air with those phoenixes. Let's get one web up though. Let's go for the free corruption aura. A lightweight, because he will get magic up sooner or later. I think we might be able to win this if we can destroy the axe. We're doing it. The Seas Cloud should work out well against the Blood Elves. <clears throat> Let's kind of annoy him. He, sadly, he is defending him. <clears throat> Let's try to control the middle lane at least. If we can get reinforced for a Savannah soon, we might still be able to win it because of those annoying shrine abilities for the Blood Elves. Erko is staying in the shadows. But both the Blood Elves and the Arako has tier 4 magic available to them. And neither of them is gonna be fun for us to fight against. We are getting plenty of reinforcements soon, so come on. With tier 4 against tier 2, he did lose a hero here. He already used a tier 2 uh, spell once. He got like 2500 gold, 3500 gold, 3900 gold for destroying the. Tower him, and he has to invest some money against us. If he didn't, <clears throat> he's gonna be in trouble. Not hero. Maybe should bring out Kaltus Hut middle lane. Because we do not want to give the Blood Elves any time or momentum. Although we kind of need a hero top. If Savans dies, and we can send him uh, her here. Seems like he's still only level two. A hero bottom would also be nice. <coughs> Please do not go too deep, Savanas. I don't like you already, so don't make me buy any units here. Against a stinky bird. Seems like he's gonna lose it to Rashad. Not getting enemy units auto quickly, so come on. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. Ooh, that's a really nice shrine. Jesus, Sylvanas, you're utterly wor worthless. El <clears throat> Nukwar, my benefit, I'll say, is Toava. Hey, Masnub, nice to see you there. Master of Disaster. <laughs> well, we might be doing one fast map after this one for you, Snoop. We'll see. That's that. Better not jump. Top. Thank you. He sent out a hero. So he's gonna take the first throw for those uh, beautiful shrines. 
Look at Savannah, still struggling. What a woman. I got the Zard will eat Keltas. The one through KT. That's gonna be one major wave. I think we want to go for the major soon, but we also need to go tier 3. Potentially go for a Bone Daddy. <clears throat> Lose control that definitely sucks a little bit. But we need to be one step ahead uh, over the enemies. I remember I'm just staying in the Netherlands, not even too far. Yeah, we're struggling enough here, Rue. Yeah, we could get double shrines, but there's no mini smite or anything that will help us out too much. Yeah, the heroes never die. It could be work, but then the other will still kill him. So that's not gonna be worth it. He can take the gold. That's fine. Arakoa, you slow down on Arakoa. <laughs> uh, he does not want the uh, blood to do something crazy to him, I guess. That's on my struggle a little bit, but yeah, he should be good enough. He should be. And those extra little shadows that we spawn where on the chance when we kill enemy units will benefit our army greatly as well. Problem on the level 2 disease cloud though. The question is, <coughs> should we just Send the bone daddy here. Pyrex. Always as annoying as ever. Simply Kelsa is holding out way better here than he should. Arakoa being annoying. Oh yeah, he got him from here. So that we would use it against him. I thought he kind of used it uh, before the blood was good. But most certainly not. Uh, what else? Gold before he attacks me? That's gonna be difficult. Would definitely help if we can get rid of a Keltas there soon. We will have one wave here. Yeah, it's gonna be really close. Oh, he healed up. <clears throat> That's not good news for Keltasar, to be honest. Let's use that tier 2 spell. <clears throat> Rather not lose too many units from the middle lane. Come on. Because if we lose any units here, Kalsat will most certainly lose it. And Blood House with Tearful Magic. Yeah, that's gonna be horrible for us. XL for my summons would at least be one way to count that a little bit. Come on with a Frost Nova. He can use this on me, so we should be careful because a slowdown deep freeze is going to be a very, very annoying combination. Jericho hitting Kelts out here. <coughs> Yikes. Expect more from Kelts out there. Savannah will have to show how it's done. See you around, Bebop. See you around. Three seconds. Yeah, we have to be very cautious here. Yeah, we should be fine.
10 seconds. And he gets it. Send out 6 heroes, slain 6 and 1 special unit as well. 1 hero still alive. 1 special unit still alive. We will kill a hero and send a hero top as well. So beautiful, beautiful battle so far. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised that that's happening here. But the freeze is gonna be more annoying. Okay. <clears throat> that's just slightly annoying. Is he talking about me? I don't know what that guy is rambling about. But I'll take this. Smiting. Nice. So no nukes from the pesk blood elves. Sending me into I don't think I care too much about that. Until should be easy meet. Soul burn's gonna be annoying, but I guess there are worse things in life than a fried chicken. I'm gonna eat him. Are we gonna be going for the oath kill with Bone Daddy middle lane? If he wants to smite, he can get it. Shavano's still okay there, but he does not have tier 4 magic yet, so I'll take my chance. Definitely have to use this before the enemies do. Go on disease cloud, that's gonna be helpful against him. <laughs> that animation would be cool. You know what? Let's help out the uh... Lich there a little bit. Let's get this and then we need a superb defending. Good luck with that. I don't care at all. <clears throat> I assume he's gonna hold this. Aroko is still defending the Blood Elves a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's sending a lot of heroes there, but look at the top. Imagine him losing that top to the Arakoa. That could be happening with him losing reinforcements. But he went aggressive with that smite and into. He might be the thing the pain of it now. Us will probably die here. Bone Lord might be killing a few enemy heroes. <clears throat> I 
The fourth bottom could be helpful, but maybe we can help Kalsad defeat Tarok. He still has the lifeguard. We can freeze him a little bit. I'll take down Kalzad. Oh, that guy is feeling the pain. Don't lose stop though, man. Soul burn. Yeah, that's gonna be killing. <coughs> Tarok has been defeated. Another cuts out six heroes to defend our Bone Lord and Zvanas. That's a bit messy. And he lost it up to the Blood Elves, uh, to the Arakoa. Yeah, why did he send all heroes there when he obviously needed one top? Hmm. That's a shame. But I guess we are the ones spreading now. <laughs> no tier 4 by bottom there yet. Nope. It's fine. Arcane Nihilates. Oh yeah, those guys can summon extra stuff, right? But that might become side scary. Arakoa feasting a little bit more than I would like to see. At least that's one major enemy being slightly crippled. Let's get level 6 fortifications. And he will need Intel to survive at the top of him. So yeah, we can focus our uh, side on the Arako. Well, oh my god. Also into middle lane. That's unlucky. Research complete. Yeah, <clears throat> poor Kalzat. Maybe he was supposed to go top, didn't get redirected. I don't know. This is really sucky for us, losing control of the mid lane like that. And we might still destroy this barracks at least, maybe the middle barracks. But it should be a matter of time before the Arako will destroy this if we do not do it. Dead Rian's back. <laughs> well, um, what kind of racing game are you missing, Snoop? Sorry for not entirely keeping up with the chat there. We can send the Bone Daddy here, and if he smites, we can still send Savannah's. We can control that, that's interesting. Yeah, let's just go tier 4 here. It's fine. <clears throat> let's get a few extra... ...level units out there. At least we should be in good shape against the Raven. Quite leading there. Not on upgrades though. 
into World Despair once the Blood Oils will fall. So hopefully we can destroy this barracks before destroying the Arcade Sanctum. Sadly, Kelpsart is down for... Nope. <coughs> Impendable Flash, Love 3, Disease Cloud, a web, a minor spells you. Oh my lord. Got plenty of shrines. Let us took it. I don't like that. You know what? You will probably enjoy this. <laughs> Might still be losing there. At least he's not gonna be taking over my shrines. <laughs> Time to move out. Time to nook. Mm. Yeah, we did play a World Race game, the few games on Twitch. We are not on Twitch anymore, and they stopped development for it. We can always try a F1 game or something like that. Hmm, can oh, he he's invisible. I don't like it. That's been naughty. We all know how insane this guy is, so we better kill him. <clears throat> I'm not trying to go hard, but we are just swimming so much in gold that we have to keep upgrading. Oh, he still got a shot here to take over. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Especially since there will be ultimate weapons coming from that shrine sooner or later. He might need another Apex, but I'm sure he saved an, uh, enough gold for that. Should be mean and go for the void. <laughs> yeah, I just want to void, just for the fun bit. You know what? If you want to play, play with that. <laughs> it could cost us the game, but I don't care. I just want to avoid. <laughs> At least the Bone Daddy is having fun. I'm not entirely certain whether we can get a old god up. But it would be so much fun if we can. And Raven is an excellent defender, so he might just be able to defend this. Throw in another crazy Apex, but no, he smites. That's just... Oh my god, he ends calm. <laughs> I like that. That's gonna be cool. The end is calm. Oh, this is gonna be tricky for the Bone Daddy. But look at that armor. <laughs> uh, he better hopes that this guy shot will go down soon. Raising bow. Oh no. They'll love them there. That's me. Oh, Ferex could save him. Well, we are playing nice, but he's a bit mean with that smite, isn't he? That'll be fine. Poor daddy. I'm gonna laugh if he still mentions the PD Apex, but that's not gonna be happening. If we nuked or smited, he probably would have died or used anything other than this, but we can uh, still do some good things with it. Our ally 
You know what? <clears throat> Let's go for the void. We will be in quite some trouble here with him attacking us. Yeah. If you want to play a winning game, don't play like this. <laughs> Just go in casual mode here. And I really want to see an old guard. We can go for another soul rep as we need our heroes to survive this. Godshot is going extremely deep over there. I don't know. Yeah, I think Arts will die here or Godshot. <clears throat> then we have two heroes to defend the Apex. Should be more than sufficient. Mini Smite. And oh my god, he's not playing nice anymore. Matter of fact, that's just really mean. This man warriors. Weird looking uh, listen man. Sorry, one of his heroes. It seems like Kelton might still survive this. That's armor up. We can get another one soon. But at least we should throw it in this face and not our own. Because if we troll too much and send the <laughs> an one here now on base, we are probably dead. Especially since he can smite soon again. Yeah, uh, the Yarako can regain mana quickly with that tier 4 spell since that's an instant kill that gives back uh, 0 0.5 mana. Thunder is gonna fall. But see how done Disney well, they I got the same man. So actually, she might survive it. Okay, I'll never uh, disrespect Savannahs anymore. We should have sent Void here. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just help out Raven a little bit. We can fight him. Oh, it's not taking damage over time. <laughs> Oh, it's just gonna be used when uh, once it dies. Oh, there it is! <laughs> I want the money. And I'm not certain whether the bono can tank him. Let's go! You can do it, Bone Daddy. Oh, the fear. Fear the Reaper. <laughs> That's really good. Go, 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 go! <clears throat> Stalling him might be a bit annoying for him still. We're just enjoying our food, that's all. Tito spell, so no smite there. The Bone Daddy will survive this, I'll tell you that.
does have a struggle cutting down that L1. But still early on in the game, the L1 keeps growing strength and the Bone Lord is level 24. So I shouldn't be surprised that he is doing well there. There goes Terok. The shot is a beast though. Oh my god, he's stolen with a chain lightning. There's a lot of gold for him for free. Will he send the Apex here? That will make things quite interesting if he does. Uh, should we troll <coughs> raise Bone Dead if he sends the Apex and send him right at the middle lane or top? Should we? Just to troll him. <laughs> From here. <clears throat> In the fake pretty mana. Let's not waste any time at all. <clears throat> well, that's a bit annoying, but we're not gonna let him attack our base. Oh, he smited. That's a bit mean. <clears throat> we can get the old god against the apex. <laughs> Let's go. We will be staying controlled there at least. <clears throat> we'll free the apex for him to defend him. But the tune deserves a little bit of fun. Derek is tanking like a beast. Jesus. <clears throat> okay, let's try to hurt him a little bit now. He got close to our arm strength. I'm not gonna be surprised if the Apex will somehow survive this because Katoon is struggling. He got poisoned, poor little guy. But he will have defended without <laughs> the Apex for now. Run in! Run, you fools! Uh, he will have the Apex to defend himself here.
Go oh, and get some old gods. But it's surprising how well the Apex held line there. Really, really scary. And sadly, he smited me twice. But he's just being really mean. Sadly, Katuna is a little bit too quick here. <clears throat> he died at the uh, perfect moment for him. We will not have a shot of Pyrrhus defending this though. But that's lovely. Come on, Bolo. Kill him, please. He's gonna get reinforced from three barracks. That's really, really scary. The Sanctuary not enjoying life anymore. Come on, Katoon. Attack me here. That would be gold. Look at Artis. Run, you hippo. Oh no, it's not the hippo. This is the uh, ugly. <clears throat> I. The Yoxaron is the hippo, right? Please keep your tentacles in there. Apex will beat up the Bone Lord. Where is he using Far Roots? Oh, yeah, from this. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh man, we would have to send me it. Let's do it. <laughs> He's gonna beat up the Apex twice. Oh, that, that's really mean, dude. Get your mini smiles away from us. What we could do, though? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so fun. Thing is, he's not spawned to many units here, but he can bring out another Apex there. <clears throat> Let's make him uh, slightly hysterical. Can we give him a mighty roar on the shot? We could take one of those guys down. Should we be that kind? <clears throat> or do we just let this fight off for the time being? Derek, after all, still wants to kill us. Let's help him with the Bone Daddy. He needs another Apex. Killing him will free him up here. Oh, we didn't kill him. We tried. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh my lord, another monstrosity. Fuck it! <laughs> what the hell is that? What's that message, man? <laughs> Let's get him in there. Help him out. No! Arakoa. Trying to help you. Even healing your shot. Should we bring another god? <laughs> <laughs> Are they? <clears throat> Come on! <clears throat> we believe! <laughs> we got a quote. Oh, what a battle. <clears throat> what a battle. That was a good one. That was a good one. 